larger and larger. This, this. Javi, correct me. Is this the first 24-hour saga that you guys are doing? Go. I don't remember past being 24 hours. I could be wrong. I'm trying to think. I feel like they might have one other one. Either way, you want to come out here. You're in SoCal. Yeah. Show up in La Mirada. La Mirada, California. But yeah, we got game number one between Sandy and this HLB. Out here with a Both players from the 818 region. Why do I have HLB's ranked this season, right? Yeah. yeah. Newly ranked, always been a really strong player since Smash 4, known for his Jigglypuff. Surprised to see that he's not playing Jigglypuff now. I mean, he, he got ranked pretty much with uh, the Brawler, but Jigglypuff just got buffed yeah. to hell in the latest patch. Jigglypuff is dead wrong, man. There's so many rest confirmed. You hit it down there, you are immediately bunker. Mm -hmm. It could be a bad time. There's a grab, Sandy. We saw him pull off the counter punching. You know, the Brawler, He's generally considered like the weak, or they're generally considered like the weakest of the three. Mm. But in a lot of ways, he Brawler's like a like a half fox, half zero exactly. six Samus. Yeah, he's got a little bit of Mario's moves. A right. Bit of, oh, whoa. And he apparently has some it, confirms. Was that real? That looked real. It, it but from across the stage. It looked authentic. Damn. Okay. <laughs> you, you catch that shot, but you're the you're the next projectile. You like that's when you know you mastered it. Right. Okay, let's see if Sandy can bring it back right here. He does have 141%. Gets that dash attack by the ledge. Trying to set up into another edge guard. Really good aggressive forwarder off the ledge from HLB. That up B out of shield is going to be really, really good too. Uh oh. Ooh. Oh. Uh, okay. I, I, I respect it. it. Yeah, I, I respect it. it. Feeling it. Yeah. Yeah, he, we did just see Nico Schultz out here. He's really feeling it. But yeah, Lauren, back to your point where you're saying, you know, like, uh, the brawler, he is considered to be, or he or she, they are considered to be, like, one of the weaker ones. However, like, how weak can they really be when their tool set is a right. mix of Mario, right. Fox, like, you got a little bit of ZSS with that down, custom down right. like, yeah. if, you, if you got fundamentals you got spacing, Falcon in there you sometimes. Can, you can like, do some work. Ooh. Yeah, like, that charge up kick in a lot of ways is just a better Falcon punch. Way. Game one, winner side still, pretty even. Sandy, we saw him, you know, really show off it, his ability to punish options once the tater game is Nice, and, all right. Uh, Sandy, or excuse me, HLB's jump had already been exhausted, so therefore that, that flood right. was the very little bit that he oh, needed yeah. to actually get the KO, otherwise, if, if, you, made if you're gonna do them that HLB. dirty, you may as well lose them all from the close. Okay. Here's the other oh. throw, up ladder. Oh, into the down air, that's gonna be not enough. Surprisingly, we got the uh, we Yeah, we got the KO spark and everything, but sometimes Mario it out here trying to pose with such dominance. <laughs> Up B, just uh, you know, get off, trying to slow things down a little bit. Buck 65. Well within kill territory. Now this is kind of where me Brawler struggles in my opinion. It doesn't have like a ton of kill options. A lot of a lot of Brawler's moves, like you land one of those, sure. Yeah. Out of but, shield, but a, a, lot of it, a lot of me Brawler's strength is like 0 to 75% and a lot of chaining. You know, lighter hits. The low to mid percent combos right. for sure. That's and when you're that strong. high, it's like, all right, you only got two or three options, so I kind of know how you're coming at. Oh, Sandy tried to bait him out of the shield. They just like, and I'm good, man. I imagine these two play each other. Yeah. Oh, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I've, seen, I've seen the empty half reverse up smash. Oh, um, okay. Yeah, it looked like That looked like a B.I. It looked like he was about to survive. Look, look, he, he shot, he's like, I don't know why I'm dead. Yeah. <laughs> it looked like he was about to survive. The down smash sent him into the blast zone, and, and he used his double jump, but instead of making him live longer, it looked like it shifted. Like, he had the continued momentum from the knockback, and it looked like the jump actually maybe has an animation where the, it shifts. Right. Um, Brawler's hurt by his back, so he, he ended up losing the stock for it. 
Isle of Mount coming I, out. I, I keep that in mind when I play Falco. Like, if you try to side B immediately, actually, like, yeah. you, you, yep. you shift back and yeah. go forward. Yeah. And uh, that can come back to bite you. Moving on to game two. Sandy. One of the, one of the more consistent Marios I, I've seen in competitive. Just, he doesn't overstep. He's just like, oh, you gave me that opportunity. That's 30%. I'll take that. See you back in neutral. Yeah, I'll wait for the next opening. Plays a very clean neutral, in fact. Uh, just kind of bobbing and weaving consistently. Like you said, doesn't press his advantage super hard. He doesn't go for 30, 40 up airs at a time. He'll go for like the, oh my god, dude. I, oh man. I know it's, I know it's no not November, but like, dude. D damn, <laughs> damn, damn. All right, we're learning about Edmund out here. <laughs> the, the cool thing about having these more methodical play styles is that when you do go ham YOLO and you just go for like the, the random grab out of nowhere, the opponent doesn't really see it coming because it's like, all right, this guy doesn't really play like that. Yeah. So every now and again, you just, just got to let him know. It's like, no, I, I, I don't know how to do this. Yeah, the recovery portion is looking really rough that was for dirty. HLB that right was there. dirty. That was dirty. Sets up into the edge guard with dash attack. And uh, the buffered up B is actually going to cost HLB good stock. That, that fireball hit his forehead. Sandy was like, boy, don't come back. You're good. Really good um, advantage right here for Sandy. Or, yeah, for Sandy. Nice. Uh -oh. Air to grab. Good damage for him. Excellent conversions. Time and time again for Sandy. He's be able to find his kills until he gets one of those. Doesn't mind that. Down 64%. This is where Brawler can shine. These lower percentage combos are where Brawler makes their money. Upbeat doesn't have a ton in lag, so it's not the worst option of the route. But okay. that, that could give Sandy an opportunity. Ooh, he wall jump? Yeah, that's actually a really he reversed too. good option for recovery. Wall jumping and B reversing onto the stage yeah. keeps your recovery really tricky and throws out a uh, a hitbox that will release some pressure. Yeah, everybody likes that, but Sandy's left hand wall that, that, That's a <laughs> Get the wall jump and immediately B reverse back. Tricky stuff. Down smash. That's going to get hard punish. Upward smash for headbang. Catch. Ooh. That shot put was pretty close. Sandy, Sandy. I mean, got to remind the people at home, man. If you weren't watching, if you just tuned in, Sandy actually took the 2-0 dub over Taternator earlier in the bracket. There's that down, down smash. smash. That one's going to find its way home. So one stock potentially away from seeing another uh, upset and not only just an upset, but an upset on again another PR player. I mean, nothing is free out here in SoCal. Uh, you can see HLB is turning it up right here. He's got the set advantage, playing this very carefully. Sandy, more than fine with slowing down the overall pace because it's the breakout moment. HLB ahead in damage, spot dodge. Catch the neutral air in the back of the face for that one. That's going to be a down throw. You, you, you take a down throw by Mario in Pokemon Stadium, too. You, you should be concerned. Yeah. The the forward throw. I want the advantage. Stay spot dodge, down smash, covering my options. Well, says HLB. Nobody home on that grab. Up smash. Going to miss also. Both of these players kind of throwing out these wilder options that will hit the game. Nice. Backward aerial. Covers the jump in from the ledge and gains himself the game number three. HLB with the victory in game two. Very close one. I mean, he was it, he was losing for the majority oh, yeah. of that one. He just kind of zeroed in on with it, what he had to do and played uh, more to his advantage. He just spaced out that back there a little bit more. Um, yeah. He was kind of beating Sandy yeah. at his own game. Yeah. Especially that last stock is just like, I'm going to slow down the pace. I'm good with dash dancing back and forth. I'll take my opportunities and not overstep. I'll take my 20, 30% at a time. What are you going to do about it? Apparently, see game three. Yeah. As far as I know, I mean, I'm, I'm willing to bet that these two have played being from the same region and all, and they clearly look friendly between sets. Uh, 
However, this, like, I, I don't know. This may actually not even be the first time that, like, Sandy wins against HL. You know, may, may, they probably, they might even go back and forth. I don't know their history. But yeah, as far as this sure one's I going, mean. it's pretty even. All I know is both of these guys are very skilled at their characters. And this is a, a total shift from the best in three overall. Normally we see Sandy pulling ahead with the damage. All the combinations like this just starts to even things up. Oh, but another one. Ooh, good here. grief. Nice. Can, HLB's like, can you not? Like, can I play? And I like that he went for the back air in that situation because in the position that he got in the up air, it had sent him a little bit too far away for him to get that up B. Uh, the up B may have connected, but it also had a high probability of not connecting and would have put him in a really bad spot. Right. Sandy gets back on, super jump punch, shielding both players, affording each other the requisite measure of respect. These shot puts, they've been coming out there, they haven't oh. always hit, but when they do, could have an impact. Maybe the option to roll, Mr. Four throws as a reward. Wow, he goes so high for that back air and successfully nets himself the stock. Sandy at 158, though. There's a grab from HLB. Forward throw, not going to be enough to take the stock, but he's setting up into the shot put. Excellent flood. Ooh. That's going to be the it with the up B at the ledge, though. Drops the Nikes on him. Only 14% differential here. Game three, winner side, life on the line for the players. Down air, what do we get off that? One up air, we wait out. The option gets the grab on the ladder. Oh my god, great DI there from HLB. Dude, the patience by using the shield there just got him like another 40, 50% for free. Crazy stuff out of Sandy right now. It's the back row, 97. Balls in with the back air, can't get the grab afterwards. Both players showing their shields. Up B, get off of the neutral layers. Sandy comes back again, showing some patience, gets the down smash, gets the advantage, dash attack through the up B, hose him down, do him dirty. Do him absolutely dirty. Yeah. That's that's like unfortunate because it's like he had already been at it was at a really high percent, 130. It's like to, to lose your stock at 130 like that is like uh, it's uh, power wash. I, I almost would rather get like hit by a smash attack, you know. <laughs> You know, it rained here in California for the first time in a minute. Bro, HOB's got the food. It rained hard, too. It was, done. it was hailing in some parts. Oh, wow, really? Yeah. Today, I like that. There's a roll. Cheeky option at 124%, but I guess he's like, hasn't been punished yet. All these little blasts down here. Ooh! That's one move we haven't yeah. actually seen for the duration of the set. Sandy out. leaned back in the chair. He's like, oh, right. Right, oh, that right. exists. Yeah. Really good trump card in his back pocket, the ace in his sleeve. Uh, and it kind of works like a like a Bowser bomb. It drops really fast, a Yoshi bomb. Like. Yeah. HLB goes back to the well with another up B. That gets shielded, not punished. 59% the slightest of these right now for HLB. He affords himself a grab and a down throw. Gets the forward air, 85%. HLB, upset inception. Here's an up smash. Oh, here's the uh, up air. This uh, could be the world uh, for uh, HLB. He doesn't get the double jump on the down air, though. Gets the pick up again off the conversion. <gasps> there it air, is. Forward smash. We light him up. Man, we have seen Sandy be so consistent with that setup throughout the night. Man, he may be the best Mario in SoCal at landing those nair to forward smashes. I don't even think I see Master Mario go for those as often as, he, you, as Sandy you does. You 